In this topic, we have parametric equations. We have to convert them to rectangular form and graph them. Now, converting the rectangular form means, so you can see the equation is in terms of a different parameter. X is equal to 2t. T is a different parameter altogether. So, what do we do is, we have to write everything in terms of this. Uh, sorry, first, we need to try to get in terms of x and y only. How do we do that is, there are plenty of methods to solve this. One of the ways is seeing where is the square. If both the sides have t squared, it's unlikely. But if then, you can just start anyhow. But over here, you can see y is equal to t squared is there. So if you start to simplify t over here, you will have a square root on the other side. To avoid it, what you do is, whichever has t squared, leave it like that for now. Take the other equation. This is x equals 2t minus 5. What do you do now is get the equation in terms of t. Take 5 to the other side. It will be x plus 5 is equal to 2t and divide this by 2. So you will get, divide both the sides, x plus 5 divided by 2 is equal to t. Now, t value is x plus 5 divided by 2. So what do you do over here? y equals open the bracket, x plus 5 divided by 2, the whole square. Is this clear? So what you're doing is, this t value, you're just substituting over here. In, uh, now it's in terms of x. Then plus 4. This is enough. You can simplify further on. Uh, apply the oh, x plus 5, the whole square formula. It'll be 2 squared down. And then all that can be done. Or oh, just leave it over here. It's fine. This is the rectangular form. Rectangular form means you have x and in terms of x and y. Now we are graphing of this is there. How do we graph this? We have learned it in the previous videos. There is a simple way to graph all of this. Take uh, see, this has coefficient of positive a. Okay, so it will open upwards. Now y is equal to x plus x squared. You know, ultimately it's x squared, so it'll be opening upwards. Positive sign over here. What else can you do is just take some random values. Say now, I'll take a random value of this, say minus 10 over here. And substitute instead of x as minus 10. Open the bracket, let's do this. Minus 10 instead of x, plus 5 divided by 2, the whole square, plus 4. The answer over here is 10.25. Let's see, it will be just over 10, I guess. It's 10.25. The scales are huge, so that is the answer. Same, we can try something else. Minus 5. Let's try over here. Minus 5. And it is 4. And that's the vertex. Minus 5 over here. And so on. You can just take a few other values. Try it. Within 2 to 3 values, you'll understand which is the correct graph in your options. So you'll have 4 graphs. You can select the correct graph easily. Same way you can do this. Now, over here, in this case... You can see over here there is t square on x. You can try simplify this and you'll get a square root and all. But instead of that, you can simplify the right side. Get y in terms of t. Like, see this equation. Solve for t. y divided by phi is equal to t. Now, substitute this over here. It will be x is equal to y by phi, the whole square, minus 2. That is x is equal to y by 25, y squared by 25 minus 2. Or this is enough. And then, now, all you, you can do is, see over here, graph this. You know how to graph. In this, you need to take the y values. Okay, it's all jumbled. So, I'll just write it over. Okay. That was a... It's y squared by 25 minus 2. So let me write it over here. y squared divided by 25 minus 2. This is x. So take some y values over here. Let me take 0. And over here, if it's 0, it will be minus 2. x should be minus 2. Yes. Let me take 4. So over here, instead of y, all I do is take 4 squared divided by 25 minus 2. What is the answer? Minus 1.36. Let me see. At my at 4, it's over here. Yeah, it is. See, minus 1 is over here. It's more than minus 1. 
and this is the approximate answer so this is how you can easily find it out you know so uh, over here when y was zero sorry when y was zero you found this you can try for example when y is four or two and try to get at least one or two values up to three values easily you can determine which is the graph same way this one is over here you can find it and uh, this just continues the same method is employed every way and one thing what i told was if you see t square over here at y leave this whichever has square just leave it leave it do the uh, simplification getting t equals to into the other form see i would do x by 5 and then substitute over here because if you try to solve see for example in the previous problem if i try to solve x over here this in terms of t i'll get x minus 1 equals t squared and i'll get a square root you know when i simplify this it'll just be complicated it's fine you can get the answer no problem but it's better to avoid that so simplify the right side which doesn't have square simplify that in terms of t is equal to and substitute where there is square so this is how we can easily solve the uh, solve the graphing of parametric equations